Howdy folks, Kiwi here, and welcome back to Steins Gate. I say space much would be awesome, we are just, well, talking to Kara Sue. We're sort of tracking down the computer, and she's just like, what the hell are you doing the last few days? And Okabe's just like, I've been busy, and she's like, busy, right. Kara Sue glances at Moeka. Were you worried about me? Of course not, why should I care? What do I have to do? It's just, Miyoya was really worried. I don't want to see her sad. And it has nothing to do with me, not at all. <laughs> right, Mary forgot. So at least give her a call, okay? Now that she mentions it, it feels like I haven't talked to Mary in forever. I'm doing this to save Mary. I'm close to discovering her true enemy. Our enemy, but... Kirsu glances at Maleka again. Maleka's completely expressionless. She lightly, she's lightly kicking the dirt and boredom. She hasn't used her phone once since we began to search for FB. So she must be fucking bored. Isn't she our enemy? She is an enemy, but we're cooperating in order to uncover the truth. Isn't she the one who killed Mayuri? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of working through those feelings right now. You know what? It's fine. We're just sort of working together. It's cool. We're fine. However, Moeka is just a pawn and one that no longer poses a threat. To save Mayuri and save the world, I must capture the king. Well, the king's cell phone. Whatever. So, where are you going now? Take me with you. Have you gone mad, assistant mine? <laughs> I love when he says shit like that. I'm perfectly insane and I'm not your assistant. Could be dangerous. Uh, I was going to be snarky and, and, and a giant cock waffle, but now that you mentioned danger, I don't feel I'm interested anymore. Karasu falters for a moment and completely tightens her expression. The wrench. Do I die today? I've experienced the future, so I know who dies today. No, you don't die. Then there's no problem. This world line is essentially guaranteed my survival. Right, Kirishu doesn't die today, neither does Mayuri. The only person who dies today is... Kiryu Moeke. This afternoon she kills herself. Or, she did. Again, not yet, but you know. <laughs> I've already told Moeke her fate. But in spite of that, Moeke doesn't seem upset, at least not on the surface. She's expressionless as always. The only difference is that she's not checking her phone as often. But is not a strong woman. Beneath that expressionless mask, is she is, is she struggling against the fear of death? I decide to confront Tanuji directly. I have Karasu stand guard outside the house while Moaka and I go inside. Not that we're planning to break in, we ring the doorbell like honest citizens. Tanuji soon opens the door and invites us into the living room. The divergence meter is sitting in its usual spot. I glance at the numbers. Zero point or not point five two three three oh seven percent. There's still a long way to go before I reach one percent. How much more of this can I take? Make yourselves at home. It's just after dawn, much too early for gas, but Tanuchi welcomes us with a smile. He even starts preparing some instant coffee. You're an early riser, Mr. Brown. Actually, hang on. Let me listen to that again, because I like the way he said Mr. Brown. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Yeah, I got to see my little girl off to school. I know it's summer break, but old habits die hard. Is your daughter still asleep? Hey, you think you're trying something while she's... Sleeping? She's like six, right? Fucking Jesus Christ. I know you don't think much of Okabe, but my god. Uh, touch her and I'll break your head, got it? Don't worry. I'm more interested in his wife. There's still no sign of her. Yeah, and also Okabe may be asexual. Hard to say there. But also, fucking Christ, dude. 
she isn't even old enough for that to be a factor for most for for for, for you know normal people is she asleep too or could she be hiding somewhere I'd like to do a thorough search of the house, but of course that's impossible. And then there's what he said just now about seeing Nay off to school. That sounded like something a single father would say. I suspected that be was Snooji's wife, but that may have been a mistake. Also, that's what I just said is going to be true, but there's no actual indication that because he brings his daughter to school that he's a single parent. Like, that could just be a thing he does while his wife's at work or something. I don't know. Like, he's gonna end up being right, and he's just not gonna, he's gonna be a single father, but for all the wrong reasons. Maybe Tanuji is just another courier after all. Maybe he doesn't even know about FB. There's a possibility that FB might not even be in Akiba. I need answers. And I need them now! But how do I get them? Maka's just staring at the floor. Can't count on her for any bright ideas. <sighs> and whether or not Tanuji's wife is FB, I don't think this man will fall for any tricks. I decided to go for the direct approach. A few hours ago, six men stopped by this house to pick up a package, which they then delivered to France. You were there, I saw you. This time Tanuji doesn't give me his usual macho attitude. Just smile softly. And... IBN Package can end IBN 5100. You know what that is, of course. Yeah, that legendary retro BC. This is too easy. He's never this cooperative. Are you just another courier, or are you a rounder? Ooh, okay. Instead of answering my question, Nuji looks straight at Moeka. Did you betray us, M4? M. <laughs> <laughs> Maka jerks upright. M4 is Maka's code name, something that only FB should know. Or other people, depending. <laughs> no. Are you FB? Nuji laughs once, a dry sound. Never heard of Ferdinand Braun. Maka and I look at each other, confused by the sudden change of top. That's not a sudden change of topic, you idiots. <laughs> Come on, he was a Nobel Peace Prize winning physicist who invented the brawn tube. Nuji has a thing for brawn tubes, I know that. What does that have to do with anything? Ferdinand Braun. Braun. Initials. Uh, I, 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 I can't believe it took that long, but yeah, no, I got there. FB. FB. Okay, gone. Also... That is one fucking thick neck, my dude. <laughs> he was sculpted by the gods to have the biggest of necks. Like, from the front, he looks kind of fine, but from this angle, my god. Now you get it. And he casually produces a handgun. You know, with the, with the things he has on hand. That's why it's called a handgun. The motion is so smooth and natural that I don't even recognize it as a gun at first. It's heavy from... It, its heavy form gives off a chilling black luster. Muzzle's pointed at Moeka. W wait, what? Moeka and I are unarmed. We didn't plan for this. How could we have? We thought FB was Snooji's wife, not the man himself. Let me ask you one thing. Your wife. She died having Nay, why? I curse silently. No wonder I've never seen her. She's been dead for years. <laughs> What a sentence, man. That's that's a that's a real good sentence. Well, two sentences. Tanuji is FB. No, that can't be. I thought it was your world, M4. Now you're running away. Yeah, that's uh dependency speaking. I think he's gonna train a Moeka. The man I knew as Mr. Braun laughed scornfully. We're at an overwhelming disadvantage. I was a fool to believe the direct approach would work. Now my recklessness is going to get us both killed. No, not both of us. I don't die here. I'm here because I time leap on the 16th. The fact is written on the fabric of this world line. So if the attractor field model is right, I can't possibly die now on the morning of the 15th. My survival is guaranteed by the same force that keeps killing Mary. 
however. Maki has no such protection. She dies today, it doesn't matter how. She could easily die now, right before my eyes. What am I going to do about it? Nothing. It doesn't matter. I go. My goal is to obtain FB's cell phone and send a email to Maleka in the past. That's the reason I'm here. In any case, I mustn't let his handgun scare me. There's no turning back now. All I can do is stay on the offensive. So you're a rounder, Surge Dog. They're Doug. Yeah, you ain't wrong. Dude, he's like a different person today. He's composed. He doesn't get angry. Even when I provoke him. You wouldn't expect a man with a gun to be so calm. You know, <laughs> most people with guns are actually well trained in them, so they are fairly calm. And in fact, it's better if they're calm because their aim is better. Is this who he really is? Was that gruff but good natured storekeeper just an act? If you shoot, don't wake up your daughter. So what? You want your daughter to see you commit murder? Oh, she does it too. My little girl's smart as a button, she'll understand. That seems a little off to me. <laughs> My daughter's really smart. She'll understand why I'm murdering. <laughs> I grind my teeth. I can't believe you're around her, you of all people. Shida Suzu didn't give a, you a home so you could turn into a safe house for Saren. Ooh, okay, that got something out of him. Tanuji's smile stiffens for a second. Then he slaps his knee and laughs. <laughs> like, go fucking hillbilly. You knew Suzu san You should have said something. Tanuji, I haven't spoken about Suzuha on this world line. No, no. Anyway. What gives you the right to speak for her, huh? She died ten years ago. You were what, eight? How do you know how she'd feel? She told me. I glare at Tanuji, the anger and frustration are overwhelming. She was here, in this time, not five days ago. Yeah, he would know. Like, Tanuji would absolutely know about time travel and the whole thing, so he may or may not believe this. I'll bring it back to you and Akiyabai. That's my duty. And I'll see it through. It's up to the rest is up to you. Change the future, please. So remember her words vividly. But it feels like it's been forever since she spoke them. In objective time, it was just a few days ago. She's right there and you never knew it. Shida Suzu. No. Amana Suzu was a time traveler. She came from the future to stop Sir. What? You never noticed, FB? The woman who saved your life came from the year 2036. She was one of us, a lab member, the daughter of Ashida Itaru. Suzuha hated CERN. And here you are, a man who owes her everything, doing her dirty work. Is this how you honor Suzuha's memory? Oh. Stop making shit up. Tenuji thrusts his gun at me. I barely managed to keep from flinching. How did you turn out this way? <laughs> Fuck you. It's complicated. Complicated. Is that supposed to be an excuse? Are you really FB? Waka looks completely lost. Tenuji sighs and lowers his gun. Yeah, I am. The males. I wrote them. Why did I pretend to be a woman? Camouflage, obviously. Had to hide my identity. The internet's full of guys pretending to be girls. I gotta say, though, M4, you send too much goddamn mail. Who's time for that shit? You better be grateful I bothered to reply. Oh, God, this piece of fucking garbage. Jesus Christ. You better be grateful that I put up with you. You should be thankful that I said hello, is how this is coming down to. It's like fucking Cusco from the Emperor's New Groove. Uh, 
Um. Hello? Hello? Uh oh. No. E? No. Did I break something? Huh. I think I broke something. Um. So, so how are you guys? F3. Oh, that didn't do anything. E. F3. God damn it. Let's, let's go through this one more time! Um, it's supposed to be an auto, but it's going real slow. Oh. Can't count on her for any bright idea. Okay. She laughs once a dry sound. Oh, yeah, we're back here. So he really is the gruff but good natured storekeeper. Dude, he sighs and lowers his gun. Yeah, I am. The males. Wrote them. Why did I pretend to be a woman? Changed my camouflage. Oh, there we go. No. Oh, hang on. Uh. No, wait, hang on. Uh, there we go. FB was like a mother to me. I'd do anything for FB. That was the point. It's easy to manipulate nut jobs like you. Yeah, he doesn't give a fuck. Just gotta give him something to cling to. Enough. I approached Tanuji, but freeze once he points the gun at me again. Why did you stop emailing me? Huh? Oh, right, your usefulness ended the second you dropped off that IBM 5100. I'm useless? That was obvious. I mean, okay, Okabe, but again, for the fourth time now, tact. <laughs> I've been telling her this the whole time FB abandoned her. Tact! I guess it wasn't real to her until she heard it from FB's own mouth. Recruiting members directly is bad for secrecy. The rounders may get up for it by choosing expendable assets with nowhere else to go. Any member who finds an IBM 5100 is eliminated. No exceptions. What? What is he saying? That way, CERN gets to keep their secrets. Plus, I have a cheap army of outcasts like you. FP. We're all expendable, every last one of us, and it sucks, let me tell you. Without dropping a smile, Tanuji takes his gun. Oh. As soon as our job's done, they get rid of us. Guess that makes us cattle, not dogs. And presses it against the side of his head. C content warning, I suppose. Eh. Disobey orders and they go after your family. Can't let them touch my little girl, can I? Wait, don't. Sorry for everything, Suzu said. Really, how did I turn out this way? Ah, uh... that sure happened. Let's just let's just let's just take the rest of the moment to take that in for a second. So Tanuji, the character who uh, was manipulating Moeka, um, decided to kill himself, and I didn't see that one coming. Honestly, um, hmm. Hmm. Everyone out there um, who is watching this, please, please know that there's always somebody who loves you. My God. I'm not... 
I'm not doing alright after that one. I'm just gonna save and quit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I, of course, have been Kiwi. You've been great to you and yourself a delightful day. Goodbye.